The party's over. The work starts right now. Steve Stepanek is stepping away after four years at the helm of the New Hampshire Republican Party, and two longtime GOP activists are vying for the open chairmanship. RNC committee man Chris Egger and Seacoast businessman Lou Garjulo. Egger says fundraising is priority number one. We want to do a step function improvement in everything we do, and that takes a lot of people coming in and helping us. So I want to triple the staff, which means we have to, to raise our fundraising game quite a bit. Garjulo is also focused on party finances with a goal of ending the growing streak of GOP losses in federal races. And the only way you can do that is to ensure you have the right candidates with the right funding to make it happen. And to do that in a priority of mine will be to ensure that the party is adequately funded. It hasn't been. In November, Republicans came up short in contests for U.S. Senate and Congress, matchups many believe should have been more competitive, if not GOP wins. One of the strategic challenges the next NH GOP chairman will face is how to hold on to the pro-Donald Trump base of the party while winning back some of the more moderate voters who rejected Trump and Trump-style candidates in the last three elections. Do you still see Donald Trump as the leader of the Republican Party? At this point in time, I think that is still out for debate. I think President Trump did a phenomenal job in many areas, and I think at this point in time, the people have to decide. Donald Trump is a leader of the party, but he is not the leader of the party. Um, right now, he's a presidential candidate. Any other candidate that announces and runs will be treated equally, uh, the same as Donald Trump. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.